everyone. I'm talking to all the Oak Grove Middle School sixth grade scientists. Um, this video is going to go not only to Team 6-1, but to Team 6-2 as well. So I know I've been talking to my Team 6-1 students, but so hello 6-2. Um, I've been missing you as well, so it's nice to see you. Um, I'm going to talk about the ways that heat is transferred today, and I'll do a little review, and then I'm going to show you uh, convection. And we're gonna, I know we've been talking about popping popcorn and the three different ways that heat transfers. So I'm going to do uh, one for you today. But I wanted to remind you that um, heat is the transfer of thermal energy from a surface or an object that's warmer or that's warmer to something that's cooler. Yeah, and heat always moves from something that's warmer to cooler. That's, that's just how the universe works. Uh, and then uh, thermal energy, we've been studying forms of energy. Remember that thermal energy is the energy of particles in an object moving and when the temperature rises, they move faster. So those atoms and molecules move faster as the temperature goes up. And that's the energy from those particles. So that's thermal energy. So heat can transfer in three different ways. First way, radiation. And radiation, remember, was uh, anything that's an electromagnetic wave. So it's energy that's transferred, or, uh, transferred in waves. It doesn't have to have contact. And an example with, in my kitchen would be the microwave oven. So microwaves are an electromagnetic wave. And that's, so that's radiation. So we have radiation. The um, next one is conduction. And Ms. Erickson from 6-2, the science teacher, is going to do a little video on popcorn and conduction for you. Um, and the thing about conduction is it's heat transfer from direct contact. Oh, the colors of the paper. Radiation comes from the sun too. All that heat from the sun, yellow for the sun, helping you remember. Conduction, if you touch something that's really hot, this is kind of a, I guess it's more orange, I thought it was red, but you think of that orange red when something's really hot. And conduction is heat transfer when something has direct contact on something. So, um, that, and I always the, remember the difference between conduction and the last one, convection, because conduction has the D, and D for direct contact. So think of conduction, direct contact. It's got the D, that's how you can remember, okay? And today I'm gonna talk about convection. And convection is when there's heat transfer through a fluid. And when you talk to people and say fluid, they generally think of a liquid. But remember in physics and science, a fluid is anything where the particles can move freely or roll, slide past each other, and that happens in a gas and a liquid, so uh, like air or water. So I'm gonna talk about heat that's transferred through air or water today and convection. With popcorn, we're not gonna do with water. If I was making noodles for mac and cheese, then it would be, it would be convection through the water to the noodles. But today I'm going to talk about popcorn. So we're going to have convection through an air popper. And this is a, sort of a fun little machine. It's been in my family for years. I don't, uh, since I was about your age, uh, um, you know, maybe a fifth, sixth grader, we've had this. It's called an air popper. And it has, a, when you plug it in, it's got a little heating element down inside. There's a little uh, screen there, a grate. And inside there, there's a heating element. And there's a little fan. So the fan is gonna heat the air. The air is gonna blow up inside here. And so we're gonna put the popcorn in there. Um, it has this handy dandy little measure for the popcorn. Also, after you measure the popcorn, you can put butter in here, set it up here, and the heat will also melt the butter, and that's really good. But so I have the popcorn, and I'm gonna measure. So I've got my little measuring scoop there, and we're gonna pour it in. All right, so there's always a few that fall in. We'll get those back in there too. Okay, so we've got our bowl ready. You have to aim right with this because it's gonna start popping and come flying out of here and you gotta have the bowl in the right place. All right, so we don't need any oil. We, I do have salt to put on it later. So we're gonna plug this in and you're gonna see popcorn pop by convection through heat that's transferred through a fluid, in this case, air. hear the fan going and you'll start seeing the kernels popping up and down from the fan that's blowing the hot air up to the kernels. So remember, if you remember, in every single popcorn kernel, there's a little bit of water. When they get hot enough, that water changes from liquid water to a gas or steam and it explodes. It expands from the heat and it explodes and that's how popcorn pops. So this is gonna get really hot. They're gonna start popping around in there from the little fan blowing the hot air and the convection, the heat transfer to convection is gonna pop that popcorn right out of there into the bowl. So here we go, we'll wait for it. 
does take a little bit to heat up, but it won't take long. And once it starts going, it goes really fast. them all jumping around in there and that's that fan blowing the hot air. It's heating the air and then blowing it up into the air pump. Oh, I hear it. It's starting. That's the one thing about popcorn. You have to be a little patient at the beginning. But once it gets hot enough and all that water in those little kernels turns to steam, it goes really fast. Here it goes. So it's popping up, filling up the little chamber, and the fan is not only popping the popcorn, but it's going to blow that popcorn up and out of the air popper into the bowl. have an entire bowl of popcorn from our air popper that was popped through convection. Heat transfer through a fluid, and in this case our fluid is gas, which is the air. The fan blowing the hot air up into the popcorn. There we go. I hope everybody's doing well. Thank you for everything and all the hard work you do in learning science, and have a great day. Eat popcorn. Bye.